Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day, and now it's after work. I'm Joe. We're back with another Nintendo Switch accessories review. Um, I recently reviewed the uh, Nintendo Switch Elite Player Backpack, which I have been using for a couple days now, and I gotta say, I'm actually really digging it. I repurposed some of the... Um, the pockets where it was intended for a Switch control, uh, Pro Controller, I actually put my 3DS XL in there. I still keep my Switch in the Switch pouch, and then I have like my portable charger in where the dock is. It's actually been working out really well, and it's so much lighter. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with this thing. And the fact that it's also been raining, I've been kind of afraid of like this not being weatherproof. My other bag is, but I'm like, you know what? I told you guys I was still going to haul through, and so far, like, I haven't been caught in any downpours yet, knock on wood, so hopefully that stays good for the rest of the week. But anyway, we're here to uh, unpack and check out these uh, two Joy-Con guards. I've got this one in a couple different colors. This one is the Joy-Con Armor Guard, and this one is the Joy-Con Gel Guard. So this one's got more of, like, a silicone -y feel, if I'm not mistaken, and this one's got, like, your hard plastic. Um, I got all these also in blue and, and blue and black, um, which, actually, I got them right here. I'll just pull this out of the dock. Um, oh, also, I forgot. I also got in my glass film. I put one of them on, and I got it right on the first try. So um, thank you, Screen Protector Glass 2-Pack. I think it is AM film. AM film, yep, right on the back. Tempered glass, and uh, it fits in the dock. I got it on there right now, and um, here we go. So just let's let's unpack this first, right? That would make the most sense. Bam, we'll start with the uh, the armor guard. Don't need to see the front and the backs of these. There's nothing special. It shows the controllers and how they are. Wow, these things fly out if you don't catch them right away. So be prepared, unless you have scissors and do it the right way, not like me. So something that was pretty cool and I didn't realize this was when you buy them, they come in sets of two like you saw in the package. I it didn't show that on the photo on Amazon or I just wasn't paying attention to the description fully. But um, that, I thought that that was pretty neat. So I do have an extra set of black because I also purchased the blue ones as well. So I have them already on my black Joy-Cons. And actually, it kind of gives it more weight. I feel, like, I feel like this is better protected on it, to be honest with you. And I feel like, I almost feel like I can play on a single Joy-Con controller slightly more comfortable in terms of like, you know, there's 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 something extra behind it that gives it gives me more room to work with with just the Joy-Con alone. You guys already know I've said this time and time again, it just doesn't work for me. But this I can kind of work with. I also have the um, the wrist strap attached to it and they're pretty they're fairly easy to snap on and off. Boom, these are the black ones on the black Joy-Con. Uh, I would recommend going from top to bottom, to be honest with you. Um, these, this is actually my only concern. Hopefully this doesn't break off, but I also don't plan on taking these on and off. I'm sort of a one and done guy. Once I put them on, I'm gonna keep them on. But uh, I like to go from the top, make sure my R buttons are in place, and then bam, good to go. But uh, yeah, this feels very, very nice in my hands. I don't know if there's people out there, but I've lately, especially with Legend of Zelda, have been playing like this without the Joy, the Joy-Con grip or the uh, charging grip at all. Like I, I, this has become a playing style for me. I don't know why. And this was before I got these grips, but this actually feels even more comfortable. And I, I don't know, I just rest my fingers on the two buttons over here on the side with the um, wrist strap, and I'm just good to go. Uh, just a little side thing there. But yeah, also playing it in handheld mode, still pretty damn comfortable. I rest, I feel like there's something for me to rest on now, uh, as far as like my finger placement and whatnot a little bit. So there are also uh, some other ones that actually have grips on there. I'm going to see if I could try to find them right now. The one that I've seen so far is from Japan, and uh, I would have to go through PlayAsia, and that gets really pricey when you start importing things. So if, uh, if there's anyone out there that knows of other ones, please 
leave leave the name of it in the comments down below because I know YouTube sometimes prevents links from going in and I've tried to look around at settings to try to fix that, but I guess it's just better safe than sorry when it comes to that sort of thing. Like we did before with the, uh, when I took off the black one, I haven't put these on the red ones yet. So boom, there we go. It's as easy as that. And oh, there we go. Again, I like to go buttons first. I don't want to crush anything. I already had a scare with my left, my L button on my left Joy-Con on my black one getting stuck for some reason. I don't think it was because of this, but I just, I've, I've had a lot of uh, issues with that one Joy-Con for some reason. It's just that one that happened to have everything happen to it. Other than the syncing issue, I've not encountered a syncing issue. So the other cool thing that it comes with is these little nubs up on top, which um, they're, I guess they're there to kind of just cover it up so that way it doesn't wear the, uh, Joy-Con stick, uh, the joysticks, sorry, Joy-Con everything now. The only thing that is still getting, uh, some getting used to for my end is how slippery it does feel. It doesn't feel natural like if you had it just plain bare. With Legend of Zelda, I, I've gotten used to it a little bit. It actually helps out with the right on, on, uh, with my right hand, to be honest with you, this is going to sound all wrong, but as far as camera movement goes, I feel like it's a lot more fluid now with, with this on. Maybe I'll do a thing where I keep this off on my left Joy-Con and I keep it on with my right Joy-Con just to kind of get used to, since I'm already used to it on this, but not so much on this, it still feels weird and slippery, but these aren't totally necessary to have on there. I've put them on just so I can like kind of give you guys my thoughts. I've had these for about a day now. I waited to unpack that one. Only thing I haven't used is the next thing that we are going to unpack, which is the PDP Nintendo Switch Joy-Con gel guards. So I feel like a doofus because I had the headphones on for like half this video and I it's forced a habit for me because I'm usually streaming with my headphones on. And it's just to check the mic audio and uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, here we go. These are very much more rubbery. Ooh, these feel a lot more slippery than the, uh, ugh. I don't, I don't like the feel of it, but I will say I do like the feel of these tops. I'm going to try them on, um, when I'm, when I'm playing, I'm going to actually try these. These feel less, these feel like they actually have some traction on your thumbs when you feel them. But uh, let's let's go ahead and try them. I'm gonna take them off the black Joy Cons. It's gonna go from the top right there. Bam. And all right, yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh, placement looks kind of weird for the buttons a little bit. I don't know if you hold on. Let me focus on that. Yeah, there you go. Once you get the buttons in in place, I don't know. It just feels. Like the buttons on the Joy Cons are too close to the surface of the Joy Con itself, that when this sleeve goes on, it kind of just feels like all one piece. So, like when I'm trying to press in, like it just feels like I'm sliding over the uh, over the controllers, which feels a little weird. I don't know. Yeah, just so you can compare it, see. So obviously the sleeve covers the face on the black Joy Con. This is just a back piece, so you still got the front end. So I would say, I honestly, for me right now, just feeling this, feeling how it feels, it's a little too... The, the skin itself is just n no, but I do like the... Um, I do like how those uh, joystick covers felt. So I give it a plus for, the, for these. Oh yeah, that feels... That feels even better than, okay, yeah. So I give the joystick cover for the gel pack for the uh, gel guards a plus, but not so much the sleeve. This it, this right here is just a, a turn off for me and the way that it actually feels on my hand. Um, it doesn't even feel like if I were putting a silicone case on my phone, it just too, it's too mushy. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, see, I can like squeeze it and it'll, I just feel like there's going to be a lot of stretching issues. It just feels real mushy and like how thin these are. I feel like they'll snap the covers. Get an A plus for me. So I'm keeping the gel guard joystick cover on here from my right joystick, but I'm not putting it on my left. It still feels very weird on my left. So uh, yeah, 
uh, that is just going to have to get somewhere. That's about it. And I mean, I'm totally all about the armor guard, which is just this back piece, which doesn't cover the uh, front face, like I said before, because I can still feel the buttons and everything. You can't, it, everything just feels too much of a one piece. Uh, I can't really explain it, but it just feels like everything is together and you don't know if you're really putting in the pushing the buttons down all the way with the gel guard plus the gel guard just feels too too rubbery and like i feel like i would tear it at certain points so uh the only good thing about the gel guards is the joystick covers and now i have two of those that i can use so yay $15.97 down the drain for some joystick covers. So one more thing before I go, I completely forgot to mention this, but with the Joy-Con guards and the class film that I have from AM Films, I still got one in here, thank you. Um, they do fit in the dock perfectly fine. I can even show you. I'll only have this film on for about three days when by the time you guys are seeing this video. So here we go, here's the dock, fits in perfectly, boom. And there you have it. So your guards will fit perfectly fine and just be careful because it does, you know, it's right there with the backings of it, but relatively should be fine. You, you might feel like it's a little bit snug, but it's just because these sides are touching the back, the, the sides of the dock, but otherwise you're totally fine. And I've knock on wood. Have not had any scratches yet on my Nintendo Switch. I had a couple scares where I thought there were scratches, and it was just you know, just some really heavy like. Uh, there's a lot of like cat hair and dust, and then sometimes just like these weird specks that stay on there that I have to like you know dig at and then wipe down with a microfiber cloth to get out. So. Ah, oh, thank you Nintendo, and that about wraps it up, guys. If you enjoyed this video, this review, uh, and accessories unboxing. Make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends. Let them know what I do here. I play video games after work, and I also talk about video games after work. I have a show called The After Work Show where I talk about Nintendo stuff. So if that's your sort of thing, bam, right there. If you enjoy the content that I'm giving you guys daily and multiple uploads, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Show a brother some love. And here's two games that are on the Switch right now that I am playing. One of them is a Times exclusive, Specter Knight, uh, Specter of Torment. Totally screwed that up. And here you go. Breath of the Wild right there. Guys, I'll see you next time. Take care. Love y'all.